going for version 11. That's awesome, so I, mean, I don't want to skip it, but I want to turn off the... Whoa. Oh, I got to redo everything. So I'm on FSD beta 1069.25.2. Weird though. Full self-driving beta. Okay, driving release notes. Upgraded the object detection network to pho photon count video streams and retained all parameters with the latest auto-labeled data sets. The architectural for better accuracy and latency. Higher recall for faraway vehicles. Lower vo velocity error of crossing vehicles by 20% and improved VRU precision by 20%. <clears throat> Sorry, here we go. Let me get the video better. Here we go. Converted the VRU velocity network to a two-stage network, which reduced latency and improved crossing pedestrian vel velocity error by 6%. Let me get this real quick. There we go. Converted the non-VRU attributed network to a two-stage network, which reduced latency, reduced incorrect lane assignment, of crossing vehicles by 45% and reduced incorrect parked precision by 15%. We got a lot of good stuff. We got, um, where was that? Where was that? Reformulated the auto regression vector lanes, grammar to improve precision of lanes by 9.2%, recall of lanes by 18.2%, recall of forks by 50%. Includes a full network update where all components were retrained with a 3.8 times the amount of data. Added a new road markings module to the vector lanes neural network, which improves lane topology error at intersections by 38.9%. Upgraded the occupancy network to align in the road surfaces instead of ego for improved detection stability and improved uh, recall at Hillcrest, okay. Reduced runtime for re re trajectory gener generation by approximately 80% and improved smoothness by distilling expansive trajectory optimization procedure into a lightweight planner neural net. Improved decision making for short deadline lane changes around gores by richer modeling of the trade-off between going off route versus trajectory required to drive through the gore region. Reduced false slowdowns for pedestrians near crosswalks by using a better model for the for the kinematics of the pedestrian. Added control for the more precise object geometry as detected by general occupancy network. Improved control for vehicles cutting out of our desired path by better moduling of their tur turning. Lateral maneuvers, thus avoiding unnatural slowdowns. Nice. Improve longitudinal control, which offsets around static Ob obstacles by searching over feasible vehicle motion profiles. Oh, there is a lot of stuff here. Crazy. Improved long longitudinal. Oh, we got that one. Reduced, reduced best case object photon con to control system latency by 26% through adaptive planner scheduling, restructuring of trajectory selection, and paralyzing perception compute. And this allows us to make quicker decisions and improves reaction time. Introduce foundational support for 
module parallel neural nets interference by sharing intermediate tensor across SOCs to improve road edge and road light predictions. And then we got improved handling of traffic control behavior in dense intersections, areas by improving the association logic between traffic lights and intersections. All right, we got FSD beta suspension. Okay, oh, the FSD beta suspensions, let's see. Here we go. FSD beta suspension for, for maximizing safety and accountability. Use of full self-driving will be suspended if improper use is detected. Blah, blah, blah. Use of any handheld devices will, while using autopilot is not allowed. FSD beta feature can only be removed per the suspension method and it will be unavailable for approximately two weeks. All right. Uh, driving visualization improvements. Here we go. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, to view an expanded driving visualization when in when in drive, full self driving enabled. Drag the light gray visualization bar to the right. Uh, we already had that. I thought. All right. Uh, cabin camera. The cabin camera above your rear view camera can now determine driver attentiveness and provide you with audible alerts to remind you to keep your eyes on the road. All right, we already know about that. We got Apple Music. Well, a lot of these now, I think. We got a new dog mode improvement. This feature requires blah, 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 and premium connectivity. All right, you got your scheduled light show. I think a lot of these now we, we already had previously. Climate control fan speed, my EQ connected garage. I need to set this up actually. I actually have a Wi-Fi garage door, um, although I don't like to open my garage all the time. So auto turn signals, uh, new game, confirm phone call transfers, contact lookup. We got media controls. Uh, media controls are now closer to the driver for easy access. Swipe up on the access recent favorite sources. Cool. Uh, emissions testing mode via mobile app. You can now emissions test via the mobile app. Okay, you can now fart in the car. Uh, and always rainbow mode. All right, sweet. Well, nice. Cabin. Oh, I got to do the cabin camera thing. Continuously improve the intelligence and features of the cabin camera. When cabin camera analytics are enabled, cabin camera data will be shared with Tesla. If the vehicle experiences a safety critical event like a collision, data may be shared if cabin camera functionality requires diagnostics to perform, blah, blah, blah. We want to, we want to be very clear that to protect your privacy, cabin camera data will not be associated with your vehicle identification number. Do you agree to allow uh, to collect this data. Yeah, let's, why not? Let's go. Uh, there's probably a lot of why nots, but yeah, what do you think? Why not? Uh, do you agree to allow the cabin camera in mind at any time via the data sharing? If you change your mind. Okay, let's go. All right, let's turn that on. Uh, do you want to enable auto steer one beta? Yep. Okay, so we definitely have 50%. Okay, let's go back in chill mode. All right, everything, a lot of the rest of the stuff. Oh, summon while in beta. All right, well, that's kind of strange. I want to make sure, I want to go back over. Oh, there, I think I, I think it was because I wasn't in park yet. Okay, maybe. All right. That's weird. I guess it just, it's automatically doing all this? Navigate on autopilot. 
Huh. It looks strange. Software update. That's weird. Well, maybe that's just it. Pull self driving the preview is not supported in current region? That's weird. Huh. I wonder if that means I'm not gonna have FSD. Alright, I don't uh, this is kind of strange. I'm I wanna definitely uh give this a auto steer beta i mean that's I, i'm assuming that's what that is but it's weird that these are great because before i don't think they were i wonder if we got smart auto summons huh i don't think so all right well either way um it's a weird update let me know what you guys think i'm gonna i'm gonna gotta, gotta go back inside maybe i'll test this out here in a little bit see what happens See you later. Peace.